Hello everybody, it is Ridley GT here with another Let's Cast. Today we are taking a look at a quick match game coming out from Hotslog. So of course, thank you as always to those guys for having those replays up. And I don't remember who uploaded this game, but whoever you may be, thank you very much. Now this is an incredibly high MMR game compared to uh, everything else. I believe that the highest MMR game is just like... It's like 3,900 and change. So this guy's, uh, they should be very, very good. And we're just going to take a look at our teams very quickly. Now, of course, as always, these teams are actually, uh, the scoreboard is reversed. So uh, the red team's actually blue. Blue is actually red. And that's fine. But our teams are Reynard being played by Ted009, Tychus on Mr. Virus, ETC by Brandosis, Diablo on Thunder Blunder, Thud and Blunder. Sorry. Asmodan on Deathbringer. And then, of course, on our red team, we've got Murden being played up by Fotitis, Falston on Final Light, Diablo the Real 420, Tychus by Reburn, and ETC on Homer's 1993 YT, which I can only assume is the guy's channel, which I'm going to have to go check out after this. And lanes as they're shipping up, we have a tri lane coming up top here with an AFK Diablo. Falston's is going to throw that lightning rod out a tiny bit, do a bit of damage, and there goes the shadow charge. Nah, just a bit of harass going out back and forth up top here. So we do have ETC, Rainer, and Diablo lane up top here against a Tychus Murden Falstead. Looks like Rainer and Diablo sitting very, very low here comparatively to health. Overkill coming out from Tychus. Not going to really do a whole lot there. And it's just for the harass. Um... We seem to be missing... We've got Diablo that's AFK down on our red team here. And we just have two guys that are sitting... Like, mid is entirely voided right now. Diablo is AFK. Nobody's sitting mid. It's a very odd setup so far. Looks like the blue team's realized uh, that they can have a bit of an advantage on the bottom lane while still maintaining contest. Looks like Top's in a lot of trouble. Diablo ends up going down to a bunch of damage. Falstead just getting out. Low on health. I had an entirely just a massive brain fart there. And Rainer's going to go down as well. ETC pushing through. Still taking a bit of harassment. All of our red team is outstandingly low. And Tychus ends up going down. And so does Falsted. What is happening? I don't think this is a high MMR game at all. I think that I have the wrong replay. Because I have absolutely no words of what the hell just happened. That was, uh... That was awful. I think this is actually one of the low MMR games, and that's okay. We're going to keep going, and we're just going to see how this goes. Uh, now, looking at the replay indeed, yes, they had a they had a murky uh, in this other game. I clearly mislabeled my replay, so we're going to go with this. We're going to see how this goes. This is yet another extremely low MMR game from the looks of it. Diablo coming up top, harassing Tychus in lane a tiny bit. While it is nighttime, Rainer in a lot of trouble with Murden down here. It looks like Rainer's going to sit there, throwing that Q out, see if he gets in. It just looks like he's going to get Murden. He's still very low. Murden's just going to leap away, and ETC's going to ignore him. Diablo's sitting up there, but Murden should go down, waiting for the overpower or the shadow charge. ETC ignoring him because he looks terrifying, and Murden will casually walk away and live out of that. But Falstead going down to the bruiser camps up top, because why not? They are terrifying, they hit hard, and there's absolutely no reason why you shouldn't auto-attack them while running past. It's okay, misclicks happen, and they happen to the best of us. Both terrors, yeah, both terrors being ignored for the most part right now. Looks like Diablo's in a lot of trouble. The Sorbolt coming up from Muradin. Muradin with a Dwarf Leap, and Raynard ended up going down to Tychus, and Diablo is just gonna get away. Thunder Blunder casually walking away from the situation up top, and will end up living. Now, Asmodan, actually, the only person on the map of all of these people with an... Uh, <laughs> Diablo is still AFK. The real 420 is still just sitting there doing whatever. So this explains a lot of things. It was not a brilliant read by the blue team to say that Diablo is AFK. is not showing up in lanes. So there is no reason to soak middle whatsoever. Not the case at all. It's just chaos. This is just MOBA chaos that's currently going on. Of course, Hand Laser going down on this uh, on the Garden Terror down here is going to be able to solo that up fairly easily here. Still have Tychus and ETC down in the bottom lane, and the red team picking up all of the seeds from the top Terror as well. ETC with the power slide onto Murden. Murden looks like he's in a bit of tr trouble. Trouble! Nice storm bolt, slowing him down. Looks like Diablo's got the Shadow Charge onto Falls, and he's just going to kind of casually walk away. There's the overpower, though. Could be a bit of trouble. Don't think he's got barrel roll up. Falstead's in a ton of trouble, and they will just casually walk away. Stormbolt coming up from Murden as a precautionary measure. Doesn't end up doing any good, but ETC coming back on. He sees the Murden. Sees the Murden. ETC's up here, too. Tychus still in lane, soaking that experience. There goes the Shadow Charge from Thunder Blunder. The Stormbolt coming out. Looks like Diablo's in a lot of trouble. Lightning Rod coming out, and it looks like Diablo will go down. And, of course, the blue team 
doesn't give a shit. That's right. They're taking these bruiser camps. They are determined. Power slide coming up from ETC. And he's just going to slowly retreat. It looks like Rainer is in a bit of trouble. That heal's going to activate. He's throwing out that attack speed buff. Looks like Murden's in a bit of trouble. Rainer ends up going down. But so does Murden. The leap, not quite enough. And that's the ETC on ETC violence. Not usually an advocate of torn on torn fights, but every once in a while, it's kind of nice to see. Asmodan taking the siege camp down bottom with the help of Tychus, and it looks like we do have Bot Diablo is actually going out. It looks like Tychus ended up going down top in the midst of that, and that's okay. So our blue Tychus is still doing well. Trying to solo this bruiser camp by himself, not going well whatsoever. Red team does end up picking up the bruisers up in the top lane, and blue picking up the first garden terror of this game. We're going to see how this goes now. It should be fairly interesting to see the, the diverse styles of how newer players generally play the game. It's always cool to kind of see, uh, I've been playing MOBAs for, you know, a decade and change now. You know, Dota, Dota 1, uh, Dota 2, uh, Smites, and, uh, and Heroes of New Earth. I've been playing these kind of games for a very, very long time. And it's always fascinating to see new players come in and play. But Brandosis on ETC for our blue team is in a bit of trouble down mid. And the glow from Asmodan is not going to really do anything. It looks like Falstead's being a bit ballsy. He's trying to push out. Hand laser, of course, coming up from Asmodan. Not going to do a whole lot except for pushing back out of the lanes. The Garden Terror is going up top here. It's being contested right now by our ETC and whoever this little, little plant is. That is Murden. Throwing the plant down, trying to get as much siege damage in as he can. And uh, the rest of everyone else is just sitting and fighting mid. They're just duking it out. And of course, we do have Diablo played by everyone's favorite bot. That's right. Any IIA bots, you're always happy to have them. They're always, you know, such a great contribution to the team. It makes you feel warm and fuzzy. There comes the overpower on the Shadow Charge with a fairly nice move on Tychus, but no follow-up from Reburn on the red side Tychus. Looks like Muradin's in a lot of trouble. False to taking a bit of damage from up top, but Muradin being chased down here. By Asmodan and Diablo. The mount's coming up. Still making chase off of the Murden. Guarding by the Siege Camp down top. There comes the Leap. And it looks like there comes the Orb. That's not going to do nearly enough damage. That's actually going to miss him entirely. But that's okay. Not a big deal. And Ted and Homer's 1993 YT are sitting, duking it out up top, as always. Now, a lot of... As I said, I was playing MOBAs for a very, very long period of time. I've done it for longer than I'd like to admit. So switching over to a game like Heroes of the Storm that has just come out. What is happening, bottom? Thunder Blunder just deciding to go for go for the base gates. Go for those towers. Just just right click a few times. He's gonna run through the towers. Asmodin's in a lot of trouble here. False dead Murden should have no problems taking him down. And of course, ETC coming down for a bit of help as well with that face melt just to finish him off. Asmodin ends up going down. And the real 420, our Diablo on the red team has come back. Excellent. We now see some five on five madness. Even though that 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 AI bot, you know, it was looking good. Picked up the, sh the overpower straight into a shadow charge. Had some moves. We'll see if the real 420 can live up to the bot's expectations this game. But unfortunately, Mr. Virus, their blue Tychus, has left the game. So everyone is picking up. It is nighttime, picking up some seeds. And it looks like Rainer's in a lot of trouble here. Falls with the barrel roll for almost no reason. Pushing him out the other way. Rainer ends up going down up top. And of course, red team, Tychus and Diablo, it's nighttime. Should we go for the tear? No! Let's push. Fantastic. That sounds like an excellent idea. Now, our red team is going to pick up a terror from picking up the golem up top here. Uh, they are soaking a bit, so we do have uh, we do have red in the head, but a bit of an experience lead. Dad hit 10. They've got a half a level on our blue team here. Blue team just hitting 10 right now. And the lightning breath on the bruisers. Sounds excellent to me. Asmodan throwing down the reign of... Oh, I know what this ability is called, too. I just don't play enough Asmodan. Demonic Invasion. That's what it is. It rains guys out in the sky. Reburn going down on Tychus. Tychus ends up going down. And that's pretty much it. That's what's going on right now. Both Tychuses ended up dying very, very close to each other. Um, I think that was top that he ended up going down. But that's okay. It's not a big deal. Brandosis being chased down by the real 420 right now. Getting dove right into the towers. And Diablo's just going to retreat a tiny bit there. Now we have the Garden Terror coming out. Being played by our homers, 1993 YT. Who, yes, I would recommend checking out because I have no idea what he does. But it sounds like a YouTube channel. ETC with a power slide. Face melt pushing Diablo a bit further away. Asmodan throwing, throwing the globe onto this uh, this terror down bottom here. And that hand laser is doing much worse possible. And Asmodan is just going to get stunned. Just walk right through it. Falls did very, very ballsy approach here. Look comes the power slide from ETC. They don't think he has anything. The barrel roll doesn't do him any good. Falls that ends up going down. And our red garden terror. Homer's 1993. Pushing down the base here. Completely uncontested. But top for blue. Thunder blunder and Ted. 
Ted on Rainer. They're pushing down top. Doing a fair amount of siege damage, actually. Here comes Hyperion throwing out that extra damage with a Yamato cannon, which if anyone's ever played StarCat before, everyone's a huge fan of battle cruisers. You know they're not that great, but you just have to build them sometimes. It's just too much fun. Diablo in a lot of trouble. Mr. Virus chasing him down on Tychus. And will he be able to get him? There's the overkill, and he doesn't. Diablo ends up walking away, and B is just able to escape very, very easily. Homer still doing a ton of work with this garden tear. Mosh Pit from ETC misses. Not sure what he was going for there. There comes the Demonic Evasion. Diablo ends up dying for the blue team. I believe that was end up top. Got chased down by Murden. But we have Tychus. Reburn. Reburn's running the globe. Is it him? And he lives. He just lives with a shred of health. It was so close. So close to dying there. But Tychus. Tychus rotates in for a bot and gets the kill. Now we have Final Light going on uh, on Falstead. Trying to hit up a Asmodan a tiny bit on the lightning rod. Doesn't end up working, but there comes a Hinterland Blast. Knocking off a bunch of creeps and doing in, in a very sad amount of damage. But here comes the Odin. Vols is in a lot of trouble. The Fell Smelt from Brand. Face Melt from Brand. There we go. Ends up getting the kill. Pushing him back in. And Mr. Virus just tanking those towers as the Odin. Doesn't matter. I'm at a four. Or an Odin, as it is aptly called, although there is some discussion as to whether or not why it's called that for no reason whatsoever. And the thrusters into the towers, though, just to assert your dominance as much as possible. Just say that I am not afraid of your base. I am going to use my only escape and get as close to your towers as possible. It's a very bold strategy. We're going to see how this pays off with this playstyle for the rest of the game. Diablo is still solo pushing bottom. The real 420, pretending to be Sylvanas or Zakara at this point, doing fairly well. He ended up picking up a tower, and, you know, the gates are down and whatever else, and that's good. And I missed the kill mid from Diablo, but Murden has popped Avatar, chasing down ETC up mid, and the Odin has been popped as well from Reburn. Not really a whole lot being used. Oh, the power slide just out of the Storm Bolt. It was a fairly nice, it was a nice little play. You know, that, that was a great read. He he pro he had it on cooldown. He had it for a while. He was just waiting for it. The apocalypse coming up from Diablo. Double stun up on Murden and Tychus and ETC with a bit of a false melt. Trying to figure out and false ends up going down somewhere. Blue team for the most part. Taking these bruises up top here. Ted and Asmodan just kind of splitting it up. Doing whatever they need to. Diablo's going to get stunned up a bit but there's not going to really be a conversion for it. Looks like Homer's is a bit Bit worried on ETC, uh, but he will power slide uh, past the fountain into uh, into the enemy's base. And that's fine. That's just what's going to happen. Brand with a face belt. Thunder Blunder with the overpower. And there comes the globe and Reburn. Reburn's in trouble, and Brand is just not going to follow that up at all. Thunder, also very low. Photitis on Murden, also fairly low. Power Slide coming up from Brand. Just retreat to the base a tiny bit, but top! Ted! Ted is doing work top, and Tychus rotated down mid. Pick up the other Tychus kill. Red ends up going down. Mr. Virus, he's fantastic. Rotates coming out of bottom, but Ted fighting up, and no, False Ted! False Ted's going down. This push is ridiculous. It's actually working. Red's trying to put counter pressure on, or sorry, Blue's putting counter pressure on, and Red's actually going down to this. How is this even happening? It looks like Rainer, his push is just saying, it's going to end. It's going to end. That was a great push. Top keeps down. It was a very, very impressive push. And um, I like to think that it was from years of experience that that push was uh, they sort of decided that, that was the best thing to do. And not just because they didn't want a team fight mid and was not listening to their teammates. But that's okay. I'm okay with that. It worked. That's all that really matters. May not be the best gameplay. May not be professional gameplay. But it worked. And that's all that really matters. And I'm sure these guys are having an absolute blast with this. Because I even know that when I when I switched over to Heroes of the Storm, didn't know how a lot of these things worked. Didn't know uh, how the game functioned. Didn't really have a feel for it. Because it was vastly different than Dota, and uh, which I've played for years. And, uh, you know, it ended up working out. I love this game. This is now my main game. I'm super happy to be casting in and doing videos. And, uh... You know, I always love watching new players come into the game. Like, yeah, there's a ton of things that these guys can do better. Like, tons. But there's a lot of mechanics here that actually work. There's a lot of things that many of these guys are doing right. Uh, and it's usually just the decision making and the finesse that you have to get used to whenever you switch into a new MOBA. And that's okay. So we do have a Terra coming up on the blue team. Red team Terra is and up growing. Uh, Final Light picking up a couple of seeds up top here on Falstead. Diablo still split pushing. There's the overpower from 420. He's going to put a bit, bit of damage on Tychus. Not really a huge threat. Uh, I don't think he's going to die for it, but it looks like the real 420 is going to be in a lot of trouble here. Frag Grenade coming out. There goes the fire. But is the fire enough? Thunder Blunder with the overpower. Then the Shadow Charge back. 
back up, and Real420 is going to get out, is he? He's done. He is absolutely done. Of course, my buddy Shaz is sending me a message right now because I didn't send myself too busy. And that's okay. Looks like there's a bit of a fight breaking out. Made the mosh pit. The solo mosh pit on Tychus. He's shutting it down. And Asmodan can't give a shit. That's right. Asmodan is not going to care whatsoever. We've lost Raynor. Looks like Reburn is going to end up killing the ETC after burning the ult. Deathbringer on Asmodan in a lot of trouble. Being chased down by Murden. He's going to end up going down. But look at this Raynor. Raynor's going nuts. Rainer doesn't even... He's just going. Rainer is doing nothing but pushing top the whole game. And he's going to run. He's going to get a bit of extra damage on that core. Yes, he is. But he will end up going down. Core shields have gone down. He got the shields off the core. It's a good start. Don't tell him that it regenerates. But it's a good start, guys. It's quite all right. Red team now picking up... Did the blue team tear, tear expire? Is that what happened? I think it might have. Oh, no. Not good. Diablo getting overpowered and shouts. Here comes the Apocalypse. Apocalypse with a big stun on a lot of these heroes. Thunder with the overpower, and here comes the Odin, but it's not even needed. Diablo's going to go down. Reburn pushing through here. Garden Terror being played by Homer's 9093 once again. And False Day with a Hitchland Blast on the tower. Got to gotta secure those kills. Regardless of what you do, you have to make sure those kills get done. You know, you can't afford to leave a keep at very low health. Here comes the Lightning Breath out of Diablo. Looks like, uh, I believe that was ETC. ETC is done. He was in a lot of trouble there. And there goes Diablo. Both the tanks go down, but Tychus. Tychus very low health. He ends up going down. Mr. Virus on Tychus doing a ton of damage here. False that's committed. He's just sitting in here. He's not doing anything. He finally goes off. He did end up picking up first aid, which is always good. Uh, but he's very low. He picked up overpower. He's using overpower with absolutely no follow-up cast whatsoever. And there is a there is a bit of a defense coming out here. Real 420 in a lot of trouble. Here comes the overpower. Diablo ends up going down. Looks like Rainer jumping right in the middle of it. Rainer's going to go down. Asmodan's going to go down. And it's lonely Tychus. Can Tychus stay around? But Falston ended up biting the bullet in the midst of that team fight. Tychus throwing out that frag grenade to see if he can push back this. I mean, Blue's going to be fine here. There's not really a lot that they can do. ETC's going to port back. He's just going to go take a look. And we haven't even had a chance to go over the talents so far. So we're going to go take up a quick look at things. We have Rainer with a Hyperion. Uh, both Texas end up picking up Odin. ETC here picking up Mosh Pit. Diablo on Apocalypse. And Asmodan on Demonic Evasion, which is a name I'm not going to forget. I just don't see a lot of Asmodan games. Avatar, of course, being picked up by Murden. False set on Hinsulin Blast. Diablo with Lightning Breath on our red team. And Tychus, again, with the Odin and a Mosh Pit once again by ETC. So this is a very, very standard picking of, uh, of ultimates. The big thing is the difference between the uh, the Diablos here. One's opting for Lightning Breath and one's opening for uh, for Apocalypse. And I don't think that either is necessarily better or worse or, you know, I think it comes down to a lot of personal preference. Uh, with an ETC with Mosh Pit, Lightning Breath is probably better, uh, especially when you're a new player. But it looks like Reburn. The Tychus is going to go down mid with absolutely no fight left in it. Not the smartest engagement to pick up, but that's okay. As long as everyone's having fun, I'm having a blast. These guys have played like 40 games of Heroes of the Storm, so that's okay. Odin me popped out to take down these middle towers. He's doing a fair amount of damage here. Looks like Muradin's coming for a bit of engage. Stormbolt ends up hitting creeps. Here comes the Apocalypse out of Diablo. No stun on Muradin, but bit of a bit of stun coming up top here. Not going to do a whole lot. Muradin's just going to kind of casually walk away, much like Muradin does so many times. And our blue team, ETC, picking up Siege Camps by himself. Not necessarily the best idea. And Rainer, the split-pushing Rainer. You know he's going back top, and you know he's going to push that core by himself, even if there's no creeps. Overpower, out on Murd, and now Myth Shadow Charge is going to follow it up there. Not going to really do a lot of damage. Asmodan, much more interested in pve currently, but that's okay. They're going to right-click each other and see how it all goes. Red team picking up the seeds here in top. Bottom's already been cleared, and there's going to be no terror for each uh, at this time. Hand laser finally coming out, and we will take a look at the Storm Talons as soon as we can. Uh, doesn't look like there's a whole lot of an engagement going, except for Rainer. Rainer doing Rainer things, just split pushing top, doing what he needs to. Stun coming out from ETC. That power slide is going to end it. Hyperion being thrown out. There's the heal. Looks like Tychus is in a tiny bit of trouble, but he's going to Odin to defend against this. Uh, Rainer still jumping down those shields, and he starts taking down damage on the core. That's, that's 17% from Rainer. If he does that five more times, Red Team's going to be done. This game is going to be over. But taking a look from that, taking a page out of his book, Falstead. Falstead is pushing the blue base by himself with no creeps. Let's watch and see how this goes. Diablo Thunder Blunder coming down to give him a hand. There goes a Shadow Charge right into it. And he's going to overpower him out a tiny bit. I'd expect a barrel roll. He should be fine after that. 
the pings are indeed coming out to show that Falstead showed up to the base and was trying to attack the core by himself. But there's the barrel roll. He should be fine. But he's turning, throwing that hammerang out. And you see what the power's like. He's finally got a bit of backup. Oh, excuse me. I'm losing my voice here. It's not good. Falstead re-engaging after that bit of first aid. And overpower. There comes a the hinterland blast. And it looks like Diablo's in a lot of trouble. He's just going to focus down to Diablo. Can he get him? The hand laser coming up from Falstead. There's the apocalypse. Double stun of the red team. Diablo ends up living from it. And just an incredibly strange encounter and thought process to everyone involved with this game. Ah, much better. Just need a bit of water every once in a while. And then, uh, then we're good. Murder and Pep popping Avatar down bottom here to put a bit of pressure onto the blue team's bottom gate and towers. Looks like our red team is doing okay now. They're doing okay. It's 21-21. Red team's got a bit of an experience lead. Doesn't matter as much now, uh, but the levels still do count. You know, the extra damage, the extra health, it all sort of adds up on a very, very, very long timeline. Of course, we have our blue team sitting and picking as many camps as we possibly can. So what we are, looks like we have a bit of a bit of an engagement coming mid. Bit of an engagement. Now everyone's just kind of run around each other. That's what's going to happen. The real 420 gets engaged upon. Power slide coming out from ETC. It looks like 420 is in a lot of trouble. There comes the mosh pit. ETC runs into it. Can Diablo go down? He's super low. Diablo ends up going down. Real 420 gets focused down. Deathbringer on Asmodent gets focused off by this Tychus. Looks like Brand is in a lot of trouble on this ETC. Should have power slide up momentarily. Frag grenade missed. There goes a storm bolt. And ETC will go down to that thunderclap coming out of from Foe Titus. But this game... <laughs> This game, guys, this game would not, this game would not be what it is without Raynor solo pushing top by himself. It's absolutely fantastic. Red team's hitting the core, it doesn't matter, Raynor's going, I'm expecting Hyperion to come out any second now from him. There's the Hyperion come on the, on the red pace by the split pushing Raynor. Big red button being picked up by Reburn by both of the Tychuses. Diablo ends up going down, Murden's in a bit of trouble, Reburn kind of diving in for him, it unnecessarily, ends up going down. And Tychus just dies a horrible and painful death. Here comes the Apocalypse out of Diablo. Looks like Murden is going to escape. Don't be cheeky. Lightning Breath on Diablo going out of the blue base. And Murden is going to go down to towers. He's not. He's just going to get out. Sliver of health. Oh, God, that was close. Thunder Blunder and the real 420 right-clicking each other like it's going out of style. Final Light throwing that Lightning Rod onto the core. Just beating it. Just beating it by himself. Just disregards everything. Kill the Diablo? Nah, I'm hitting the core. And Falstead is going to dedicate his life to the cause. Hitting that core down as much as possible. <laughs> and Diablos end up trading the real 420. Diablo for a red team is going to end up going down. And I'm not sure if you guys realize how much damage Rainer is actually doing. Like, if I didn't know any better, I'd say this is actually a viable idea. Pop and Hyperion, focusing down, focusing down the core. It's at 43%. Blue team, or the red team pushed into blue base. They, they, they did damage. There was four people. They sat. Falstead did nothing but hit the core. Diablo, both of them, tickled each other the whole time. But Falstead sat with, like, two full creep waves. Just hit the core. Ended up bringing it down to, like, 35% with four of them pushing through it. But Rainer, Rainer's dedication to to sitting on the core and to, and to going Hyperion, every chance he gets, he's gonna spawn. He's gonna run top. He's gonna spawn. He runs bottom. He just sits and sieges. He is he is like the the next generation of what Sylvana should be is just Rainer sitting and just mercilessly throwing himself at the enemy base. It it it's apparently working. I don't know how or why, but it is. And, 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 like, that's okay, because it's actually working, which is, it's something, I guess. <laughs> I, I'm not exactly sure how to, there's, I have some combination of amazement and, and, and just joy with how this is going. Uh, Rainer is coming in for a team fight right now. He's going to sit and just try to tank, and but he, he's going to go down as Murder and Diablo. Lightning Breath coming out. Tychus ends up getting picked up by the Garden Terror. PvE didn't quite agree with him, and the Lightning Breath will finish off Rainer up here in the top. And uh, ETC is just going to wander off right now. He's taking that Siege Camp. Um, looks like we've got ETC and Falstead on permanent Rainer defense right now. Blue team taking up the bottom Terror. It looks like we both have a Garden Terror being spawned. This nighttime, only be one, won't be two. We've seen two, and hopefully, someone from the blue team will actually pick it up this time. There's nothing worse than actually losing a terror because nobody decided to play it. Yeah, all right. 
Last little bit of the game, I think. I think the game is about six minutes longer. Yes, it is actually going that long. It is absolutely, it is fantastic. I love this game. I love everything about this game. It's not even the fact that these guys don't necessarily know what they're doing and they don't fit into like the competitive meta or whatever else. This, this is just fun. This is great. I'm going to split push Rainer every time I play him from now on. It's my new favorite way to play that hero. Bit of a gimmick coming out mid. There comes the Apocalypse and Diablo with the Lightning Breath doing a ton of damage. Odin coming up from Mr. Virus and Diablo's in a bit of trouble. Uh, and he will. There's the Apocalypse that will hit, but it won't end up killing him. Rainer actually using the Hyperion onto the Garden Terror. Of course, my buddy Blood Knight asking if I'm going to play any games right now. No, I cannot play games. We are casting. We are doing things. Red him going down. Diablo and Murden ends up getting kills. Big Red Button doing a ton of work for Mr. Virus here. Our blue Tychus and Reburn being chased down. Looks like Falston is going to get deleted out of the game. That's right. But they're Zerg rushing. That's what they're trying to do. They're trying to Zerg rush. They're bypassing the whole team. There's four heroes and a Garden Terror in the lane. Doesn't matter. That's not gonna stop us. It's the worst pep talk ever. It's like, okay, guys, we we know that they've got some enemy heroes. Many of them are exact replicas of us. So what we're gonna do instead of fighting them, we're just gonna we're we're gonna run past them. We're just we're just gonna go run. We're gonna try to pull a rainer, and we're just gonna run and hit the core. That was the plan. Didn't quite work out, but, uh, you know, I can see the merit in a Zerg rush, especially when you're a bit behind. But, of course, what would this game be? That's right. Snap back to top lane. Rainer is pushing by himself once again. Doesn't matter. His whole team is pushing down middle. But Rainer, yeah, hit that core. Just go. Waiting for the Hyperion to come out. Attack speed buff going out. The mosh pit from the ETC. Doing a lot of work here, uh, but there was absolutely no follow-up. Rainer getting stunned by Murden. It looks like he's in a lot of trouble. He'll probably end up going down. Come on, ETC. Come on, the Demonic Evasion getting dropped by Asmodent. Looks like there comes the Apocalypse and the Lightning Breath coming out of Diablo, bypassing the Apocalypse damage. Here comes the ETC from another mosh pit. And they're just focusing the core. They're trying to zerk it down. Reburn popping his Odin right now. Also going Big Red Button. Thunder Blunder in a lot of trouble on Diablo. And Deathbringer just sitting there tanking out Photitis back by the core. Diablo and ETC for our blue team is running back. It looks like these guys are just going for it. They're going for it. They're going for it. Tychus focusing it down. Tychus will not be able to get it. Core's down to 5%. You know that that is a perfect ground. That's what Rainer's waiting for. And Falstead. Falstead's pulling a Rainer. He's going down middle. He's going to go try to take that core down. For real 420s. Taking down ETC. He's trying to chase him down a little bit here. And final light. Forcing it down. Overpowered by Thunder Blunder. Followed by Shadow Charge. Not going to do anything. Falstead ends up going down. I love this. I love the thought. I love the... If Rainer can do it, our whole team can do it, guys. Yeah, beautiful. It's beautiful. I wish I could play games like this again. Real 420, getting picked up, being forced back into the core, taking a bit of core damage. Looks like he's in a lot of trouble there between Brand and Thunder. He should be able to get a Lightning Breath coming out, doing a lot of damage. He ends up going down with Thunder. Our blue team, Diablo, ends up going down. Apocalypse, of course, stunning up a couple of heroes there. And Rainer is coming to defend. We'll see how this goes. Looks like Tychus is fairly low, but Rainer's in a lot of trouble. Standing next to Murden, not necessarily the best idea. And Thunder Blunder sitting there defending, but Reburn tanking those core hits. That's right. Gotta get those damage on that core. Shield's still up, of course. Uh, and that's something that might have been missed at some point or another. But it looks like Fostidious on Murden's in a lot of trouble. Real 420 coming back in on Diablo. <clears throat> and it just looks like they're going to sit and play a bit of chicken right now. Of course, ETC. My favorite part of this whole game so far. Oh, a bit of a fight here. Real 420's getting focused down. There's the Odin pop from Mr. Virus. And it looks like the hand laser from Asmodent. Big Red Button's coming down. And he will end up going down. Not a lot of contest. Way overstayed his welcome there. But my favorite part of this game so far is how ETC has been sitting. I know you haven't noticed it, but back here, ETC has been defending against the potential Rainer push for an uncomfortable amount of time. Fotidia is going back down. Falsted trying to do the uh, bit of a barrel roll going up top here. Looks like he's... Is he going to engage? He's not going to engage. He's going to pull what the ETC is pulling. Homer's 1993 hitting the core like a boss that he is. Trying to pull a Rainer. And Falstead being chased down by Brand. Hoping to join ETC down here in the fantastic push. There goes the Hinterland Blast on ETC. ETC's actually in trouble. Looks like blue team's pushing in here. I think this is it for our red team. I love the spirit. I love the attempts. But I'm pretty sure that our red team is going to go down. And that is it. That is it. 28-minute game on Garden Terror. Thank you so much for watching, guys. My name is Ridley GT. Feel free to subscribe to my channel. Uh, if you have replays, send them to drunkenrhinoyt at gmail.com. I'd love to cast your guys' games. Uh, again, thank you so much. Like the video if you do. Leave a comment. And uh, see everyone next time.